and welcome to Mods. We're keeping you connected to inspiring science with virtual camp discovery brought to you by Citrix, the museum's official innovation partner. Let's set sail into the Florida Everglades to meet a baby American alligator. Hey, welcome to the Museum of Discovery and Science. I'm Michael. I'm here in our Ecoscapes exhibit right outside the alligator hole. Some pretty cool animals inside of here. I just really wish I could see one up close and personal. Oh, wait. Ooh. Did you call for personal experience? I did, that was so crazy. Oh, here I am. Uh, what are you holding? This is Beast Boy. He is our baby American alligator. He's really small. How old is he? He is roughly between three and six months old. That's fantastic. Where does he live? He lives within the Everglades. He's a Florida native. And the Everglades, it sounds kind of like an important spot. Yes, it is one of the most important places in Florida and the world. Why? Well, the Everglades is one of the most diverse ecosystems on the planet. And it is the home to an abundance of different animals. And it is very important for where we get, us Floridians get all our water. And so the Everglades can be very hot. So yes. I assume it's dry all year long there? No. Here in Florida, we have two seasons. We have the rainy season and we have the dry season. And when are those? Well, the dry season would be considered winter. That would be from November to April. And then the wet season would be from May to October. Awesome. And so now I'm looking at this baby alligator, um, excuse me, beast boy. Beast boy. And he has some stripes on him. Why does he have those stripes? Well, as he gets older, you might notice that adult alligators don't have these stripes. But as babies, he is very tiny. The Everglades is filled with abundance of animals he'd make a wonderful snack for. Okay. So these little stripes help him camouflage within the saw grass and the reeds, so he is not easy pickings. So camouflage is kind of like him playing hide and seek. There in, you go. Okay, yeah. fantastic. And is he native to the Everglades? Yes, he is. He's one of the keystone species of the Everglades. Keystone species. That's a very big phrase. What does it mean? A keystone species is essentially an animal in an ecosystem that determines and reflects the health of that ecosystem. Awesome. And you said he was native, so the opposite of native, I'm going to assume, is non-native? Non-native or invasive. And what is an example of a non-native or invasive animal that might be in the Everglades, let's say, today? One of the biggest threats to our little guy here and the Everglades as a whole is like the Burmese python. But that's a snake. Don't we have snakes here? Yes, we have our native snakes, but the Burmese python actually comes from Asia and India. Oh, so they don't live here? No, they can okay. grow up to 20 feet long. And these alligators are supposed to be the biggest thing in the Everglades. So last question I want to ask you, he's croaking. Why is he croaking? Well, alligators are typically raised by their mother for the first couple months of their life. He is croaking to call his mommy over. Oh, OK. And does he ever call daddy? No, dad okay. is does not play a role here. Okay, so fantastic. Well, thank you for that up close and personal experience with an American alligator. We'll see everybody next time on our YouTube channel. Thank you for joining us for this episode of Virtual Camp Discovery. Please stay safe and connected with MODS by visiting our social channels at MODSFTL.